Okay, we promise you some weird legislative races. Let's start with State Representative Don Shooter, expelled from the House last spring for sexual harassment, now running for his old Senate seat from Yuma. And within two weeks, he's expected to sue the governor and who knows who else for an alleged plot to kick him out of the office. Taxpayers could be on the hook for that money if there, that ever happens. Will Shooter make it to Election Day? That's a great question. I don't know what the Republicans are planning um, there since there is already somebody running for that seat and who is the incumbent senator after getting appointed um, when Montenegro vacated it. I think the question is less so of does he get to it is do the voters care? And I think that's a really valid question in a Republican primary like that where Shooter is well known in 13. Do they care that he's suing the government? Do they care what he's done before? And I, it's a toss up of whether they do. You think it's a toss up that a guy who was expelled for sexual harassment I, could get past that and get back well, into the Senate. I think that's a sad state of affairs for LD13 and our state, but I, I actually believe okay. that. And, and you're from Yuma, so you know the place well. I am from Yuma. <laughs> I know the voters uh, pretty well, and I would say that a lot of them can get past this. I do not agree with that, but I think that there are Republicans in that primary who can get past what he has done. Will they have that choice? I don't think they will. I don't think there's a serious Republican in the state who wants to see Don Shooter run this year. And I think there will be efforts to prevent that from happening. But he got the signatures. He did. Right? Anybody can run. Um, he is planning to sue the state, which is a weird position to be in. How do you stop him? I think there will be efforts during this time period we have to, for ballot qualification to try to remove him from the ballot. Okay, let's get to the maybe a weirder story out in Paradise Valley. State Rep Maria Sims, Republican, recruited her husband, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, uh, to run as an independent in the state Senate race in that district against Kate Brophy McGee. The net of that could cost Republicans mm -hmm. the Senate seat in a three way race, and maybe even Sims her own seat. What on earth is Maria Sims thinking? Maria Sims got into her head that her husband could be a bargaining chip. And that bargaining chip would be, he won't run if you get the other Republican, Kathy Petsis, not to run. Because Kathy Petsis is running against Maria Sims or with Maria with Sims. With Maria Sims in the same district. Right. And, and there are two, two people who will win that race. There are two people. Yeah. She's convinced, though, that, and she's probably right, that only one Republican can win in the House seats in the general. So she got into her head that she would dangle her husband as a bargaining chip. Now, it won't work. Uh, no one took the bargain. And what she's effectively doing is committing political suicide. Suicide. Mm -hmm. Unequivocally. Will any efforts be made to get her husband, who's registered, now registered as an independent, out of that Senate race? We will, you know, Republicans will try to persuade, uh, cajole, reason, whether we're successful or not, it's unclear right now, but we will try. That is one to watch. I know Democrats are just gleeful about this one. I, we're very excited about this <laughs> uh, prospect of picking up additional seats in LD28. And I, I think that that district is changing and we've seen that as electing Kelly Butler, Butler this last time around. Um, Christine March, who's a teacher of the a former Teacher of the Year winner. And um, Aaron Lieberman is a great candidate and entrepreneur with healthcare and education background. That's a great slate for LD28. And with everything going on in the Republican side, I think that could be a great pickup for us. So there's one Republican rep, one, one Democratic rep, and when one Republican state senator. You think all three could go Democratic? I think this year, with this circumstance, that is definitely a possibility. Chris? Absent Mr. Sims running, I think Kate Brophy McGee wins the race and wins it easily. Um, we feel confident that we can, at a minimum, keep the status quo. Keep the status quo. All right. Should be a great race to watch. Lisa Fernandez, Chris Baker, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And that's our show for this week. Thanks very much to all of our guests, and thank you so much for joining us. We'll be off next weekend, but back here in two weeks. Hope to see you then, and for another round of Sunday Square Off.